What's up, YouTube? Constant Gamer here, and today we are playing Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. So, where we last left off, we were about to go talk to uh, Dark Elves. So, we're we're off doing that now. That, that's really all I can say. Fool's Missive 6, the Western Keep. Ah, yes. The good old Dimension 2. See, something I would like to know, right? Are all Final Fantasy games within the same world, just different points in time, or are they different, like, dimensions? I've always wanted to know that. Because at the end of Final Fantasy XIII, uh, Lightning Returns, like, at the end of the, the, the XIII saga... I don't... Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. At the end of the XIII saga, <clears throat> they, uh... It, it shows that, like, cars and stuff are around, uh, which weren't around at any point during the XIII saga... Um, and so you could arguably say that 15 takes place after 13, as well as 14 is called A Realm Reborn, so it could take place after 13 as well, just in a different section of the world. So it's like, it, it's moment, it's things like that. It's, it's the way they choose to make their games and what they choose to make them like, uh, really makes me question if Final Fantasy games all take place in the same world or not. Because it'd be cool if they did, just different points in time. Like, that'd be pretty sick. Um, and, like, maybe one of these NPCs you meet is, like, the great, great, great grandson of, like, a fucking Final Fantasy character you played, like, five games ago. You know? Like, it'd be... It, it's just an interesting concept. But I don't know if that's how they do it or not. And we're here. Let's gird your loins. What? How do we get back? Just focus on getting to Ostos with your head on your shoulders, you poor, poor sods. It's funny that he's a pirate, but I feel like he's more of a wannabe pirate. I don't feel like he's an actual pirate. I just feel like he wants to be a pirate, so he was like, I'm gonna be one. This should be a good time. Time to go exploring. You're right. You're right. Um... I'm not creating a room, mainly because I'm not connected to the internet, and B, because who would play a Final Fantasy game online? <clears throat> Cut to the millions and millions of players that play Final Fantasy uh, 14. And who probably played Final Fantasy, what was it, was it 11 or 12 was the other online one? Castle like this? I bet that's not even the centerpiece. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot how to weapon. Okay. It's been like a few days since the last episode, so I just kind of forgot how to play. Not, I don't know what I did, but honestly, I tried to jump. A win is a win. But yeah, I, I honestly tried jumping. I wish this game had one. Like to be perfectly honest. Because like we need a key. I don't know. I would just love a classic Final Fantasy control scheme in the sense of like what seven does. What's weird though is that this game does restrictive open world. Because I pointed that out in the last episode. What's weird is that they do that. But yet yeah, like they, but yet, Final Fantasy uh, 14 is a thing. Final Fantasy 15 is a thing. You know, like these giant open world Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy 16 is a thing. So I don't understand why, um, why, like, um, you know, I'm distracted in the gameplay. What was I saying? But yeah, I don't understand why, um, why they can't make this just an uh, open world Final Fantasy 1, because that's pretty much all it is. I don't know how I did that, but that was cool. I will say, though, I do like the combat in this game. Like, when it comes to, like, the cool little special things. What's that? Got a sinking feeling. Don't worry. We got this. 
Yeah, it just hurt a bit. It's all good. Yeah, let's do it. I've the, the betrayal's roost. Is that this door or is that the other door I was looking at? This just takes me to the, where it was at the beginning, so I had no reason to do what I did. Woo! Looping around! Let's go! Dude, his sword looks kind of cool, though. I feel like I've seen the sword he's wielding. I feel like I've seen it somewhere, though. Like, besides this game. Like, I've seen a sword very similar to that somewhere, and I can't place it. Like, it, honestly, the way the blades are shaped, it kind of somewhat looks like, like a great sword version of the Blades of Chaos. But, like, that that's not Trick. the weapons I'm thinking of. I bet this place is filled with secret rooms. Probably. And hidden treasure. I wonder what this is in the You didn't finish your kick so much ass. But yeah, it does suck that there's no gill, so there's no, like, reason to, to kill things, I guess. Because there's, like, no money you get out of it. Also, I've decided I'm going to stop upgrading until I get to a boss and then upgrade all at once. A, to save a bit of time here and there, but B, because, like, why not, you know? Don't scream if he taps you on the shoulder. I would just imagine Jack doing just like a really girly scream. Just, ah! I just woke up, so I'm not gonna be able to do it. But just like a really high pitched, like fucking blood curdling scream. Just because some spooky specter tapped him on the shoulder. Follow me. I almost forgot about the goofy timing. Like when it comes to the uh, the pressing circle to do shit, you know. I kind of forgot about that. I think we're safe. There's one. Time to go. What do you mean? You guys just gave up on this guy. He wasn't even dead yet. Fuck your pots. This is Dark Souls, bitch. Time for a change. That's all it is. It's just Dark Souls. Second, I was trying to, like, use other weapons to level up those weapons, but I don't think that's how that works. I think you can do it that way, but I think you level up weapons by, like, just putting points into them. I'm going to perish. Fucking GG easies. All right. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> really? I was just joking about secret rooms. Huh. This looks good. Lucky. It's got a bunch of shit. I'm probably not gonna use. Let's go. Also, yeah, that is funny though that they they bring back the bit about secret rooms. I was kind of assuming it was going to be something because I was like, well, there's no fucking shot, right? That like, because this is like the only window with a sword. So I was like trying to open it and then that's when I swung at it. Look, cubes. I could use a break. You right. I'm going to assume this is a boss fight. I have no clue, but I'm going to just assume it is. Job trees. Time to power level literally every single skill I have. Wow, look at that. I already maxed it out. Guess that took two then. I'm like sitting here actually trying to like strategize my point usage. <laughs> Almost like I'm playing that one game. Um, I think it's called like Dank Souls or something. Dank, Dank Soils. I think that might be it, Dank Soils. It's a game where you, like, um, dig wet dirt for eight hours. Oh, 
Damn, I guess I am in Dark Souls, huh? Yo, Dark Souls 3 is looking kind of different. I'm not even going to lie. Honestly, with the ballista bit, like being in the far distance, the fact that I'm in a castle, I'm pretty sure I am playing Dark Souls 3 right now. See, it kind of, I do kind of hate, too, that even with the missions, this game is railroading me into a specific direction. I do not like that. Like, I feel like even the missions themselves could be more open than they are. They're just not. So, like, I feel like that's fault, you know? Like, But then again, this game is, like, made with, like, Koei Tecmo and Team Ninja. Who are responsible for, like, Ninja Gaiden and, like, I think, well, no, Platinum Game. Well, no, Team Ninja, didn't they help make, or Koei Tecmo, didn't they help make Metal Gear Rising? That's not what I was planning to do by getting the Ballista to break it. That's not what I meant to do, but it worked. Um, I was just actively trying to break it, but... Um, but they're responsible for a lot of games, so are, like, Lucky here. like, you know, they're, they're all resp- Jesus. They're all responsible for a bunch of games, so it's, like, that are actually, like, super good. So, what's funny, though, is the fact of those games have an open-world mechanic to them, and they can't seem to pull that off in this game, and I don't understand why. Like, that, that's my main thing, is, like, this game could have been completely 100% open-world, and they just didn't. Like, and even though this game, this game isn't even that old, really. And it was available for PS5 as well, but I also feel graphically, like, when it comes to the gameplay, it lacks. Like, because it's just, just me, or do the graphics kind of suck during gameplay? Well, I did choose performance mode. Oh, oh. No, I chose the graphics mode, and it just does not look that good. Um, the cutscenes look great. But the actual gameplay just doesn't. I don't know why. Wait, did that not break it? Oh, well, shit. How do I get over there, then? I'm actually confused, then. Can I break this? Well, then what the hell? Hold on. I gotta figure this out now. Ah. Uh, it, liter it literally is Dark Souls. Oh my god, I gotta get my buddy to play this game then. I'll be like, here, because he's never played Final Fantasy before, but he plays a lot of, like, Soulsborne games, so this is probably the closest I've ever seen to a Soulsborne game being done by another game. So, like... He'd probably, he'd probably be pretty down for this. GG easies. So fucking stupid how easy that is. Um... Oh god damn it's no Tomberry. Jesus. Why does it just show a dialogue bubble above my head? What the fuck? Ha! <laughs> I got the fucking ballista to hit him. Nope. Got him. That's my goal now in this game, apparently, is to kill all the cactars and tawn berries. I can't let any... I can't let any cute creatures live. Jesus. 
He'll this rate him and run out of health items before I even get done. Dukes, over there. Should we check it out? Should we ch should we check what out? What are you talking about? If you're talking about the cubes, hey, uh, we're not checking them out. I just need to use them so we can, you know, continue. So what? Oh my god. I gotta poke around see if there's anything else, but but yeah, as I'll continue to complain about, I do wish this game was open world, like fully open world. Cause I do like open world games more, but besides that, I just feel like Final Fantasy, as like a series and as a concept, just works better in open world. It's a game where you're exploring like the entirety of a continent, trying to do stuff. It's. We gotta stop that ballista. I'm tired of getting my ass beat by it. I've gotten hit by it like three or four times already. Oh my god, game. Game! You know what? I think about it. Now I know why they chose Final Fantasy 1 as the setting for this game. Because in Final Fantasy 1, Phoenix Downs didn't exist. I don't know about every other one, but I know in this one, Phoenix Downs didn't exist. So probably the reason they chose this game as the setting, for, or they chose Final Fantasy 1 as the setting for this game, is because due to Phoenix Downs not existing, you can't use them. Which, because if, judging by the way this game plays so far, right? Literally, if I had access to a Phoenix Down, this game would be like a thousand times easier. I'm not even joking. Like, this game would actually be like, like child play easy. It would be so pathetically easy with Phoenix Downs. Did that dude just ask for a breather? Jed, we literally just took one just a second ago. Dying is our breather. Okay, apparently when I'm in cutscene land, uh, I can't be damaged. So that's cool. So it's like Dark Souls where if you open a door, they can't hurt you. <laughs> Dude, I haven't even changed my gear out yet since I've got here, but I'm gonna have so much crap. Like an absolute ass load of gear. Well, that's cool, I can break those. I didn't know that. Oh, I could have down spiked him. That would have been cool. This is, I feel like this game, the way it plays combat wise, it's like, imagine having the gameplay, or like the weapon play of Dragon's Dogma, with the speed of Devil May Cry. And then of course the actual like Final Fantasy aspect of Final Fantasy, which is like the story and whatnot. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, it's a weapon I'm not gonna use. Let's go. Okay, that's not a door. No oh, good. We're getting there. Slowly ascending through the area. Ow. We're getting there at Mach point zero. Are those cubes? Forget where it is. So I'm assuming we're climbing up that tower, but I see shit over here, so I'm gonna go do this first. Oh no, it's the Taurus demon! He just like jumps up. Oh wow, it actually was a boss. Oh boy. Sink or swim. Someone? Don't let it drag you away. 
the fuck, dude? Hit it. Okay. This is stupid. Dude, it was right to its stagger point. Ah! <laughs> it was right there. Nah. I ain't having... I, I, right. I am not having that disrespect upon my person. Oh my god, I totally forgot the Ballista helps me in battles. Which arguably could have been... There it is, it's dead. Dude, that fucking spinning move's too powerful. It's actually bullshit. Because if you have full bars, that move goes for so long. And of course, the longer it goes the faster it goes, therefore making it do more damage. It's actually broken. That ability is actually fucking broken. Oh my god, that's so funny though. You could just spam that spinning, that spinning move. Check it out, Jack. I haven't seen something this good in a while. I'm gonna get a house one of these days, and when I do, like, like my own place for myself, and when I do, I'm gonna get a, a room like this, designed exactly like it, just in my basement, like, or underneath my basement, will just be this room. Dark crystal functions. The dark crystals are potent tools. Their powers are many, but most notable their primary function, to ease memories upon spatial transference and leave naught but an urgent desire in their stead. What? <laughs> it is a convenient way to purge inconvenient truths and may prove contrary to the master's purposes while simultaneously ensuring their agents carry out their mission. Indispensable, it turns out as residual memories of past of the past that linger in this world have a tendency to distract agents and shear them down inconvenient paths. What does that mean? The dark crystals possess many the dark crystals possess many subsidiary functions as well. For one, they serve as a temporary storage devices for lost memories. They also seem to attract memory fragments remaining from previous iterations. Lastly, they somehow seem to transcend dimensional paradoxes and remain forever in this world. Of course, I would be a fool not to turn these crystals into my own er, to my own ends. They must regain their memories. My lost little ducklings have forgotten the way the wind forgotten which way the wind must blow. And I you will use any means necessary to give them a gentle push in the right direction. What? I d so, I, what? Oh, hold on. I, I gotta send a message to to my buddy about this. I'm I'm gonna read him this entire thing because like I, I want him to experience how fucking stupid this sounds. I, I don't understand what it's telling me. Alright, I sent him the message. So now I can close that. Special documents. Uh, interacting with spheres during a mission may earn you special books of lore. Oh, it's lore. Hold on. I gotta send him another message real quick. Dude, it literally brought up a pop-up immediately after that. Like, a second pop-up immediately after that telling me it was lore. So, never mind. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I literally sent him a message of me reading that entire thing and had and I was like, now explain to me like what that's trying to tell me. Because I feel like it's trying to tell me something. Or trying to teach me something. But no, as it turns out, it is just lore. So uh I wasted his time with that. Oh wait, wrong button. I keep wanting to hit circle to use ladders, because that's Dark Souls, I think. I don't need no skill levels. Not yet, anyway. I will swap out, because the sword is the most powerful. Like, can't argue with that. It just is. A sword, like, in any fantasy game, the sword is always going to be your most powerful. That's just how it works, you know. Oh, wait, that's the ballista. Shit, I didn't even notice that. I'm not gonna go lie, I didn't even notice that was the thing. 
So like a mini game, like some Jack Two type shit. Here, let me use the broken. Oh wait, that's not it. I was trying to use the broken ass spinning dash. Cause that move is too incredibly broken. I do hate that unlike Dark Souls and some other games, this is a very straightforward line. Like it is, it is railroading, a hundred percent. It's railroading you down a specific path. So, what the fuck? Okay, I want to explain something though. So, this game, may, like if you notice through gameplay, may seem a bit similar. I'll explain why. So. As I explained That's to my buddy, uh, I explained earlier that this game kind of reminds me of Dragon's Dogma when it comes to the gameplay, but that's incorrect. You want to know what this game actually is? This game is Dark Souls 3. Uh, it, it's basically Dark Souls, well, not Dark Souls 3 specifically. It's more like Neo or something, you know. It, it's Neo mixed with the remake <gasps> Devil May Cry. So, uh, so it's like... It's Neo with Devil May Cry combat. You wanna know why that is? Because Team Ninja are the ones who made the 2013 Devil May Cry remake. So that explains the gameplay. And Koei Tecmo are responsible for Neo 1 and 2, which are Souls-like games. They are pretty much Dark Souls games. So there you go, kids. That's. So it's literally Neo combined with remake. It's basically Neo with Devil May Cry combat and Final Fantasy story. That's basically it. Every single team, at least every single team contributed something. I will say that. It is, they at least all contributed something from their previous games. They didn't just try to like make something new that doesn't work. They actually made stuff. They made something worthwhile. <laughs> that was quick. The next fight might not be so easy. But yeah, so there you go, kids. If this game reminded you of anything, that's exactly why. But I do, I, I don't like the fucking straightforward shit. Cactar, beat his ass! Everybody, on me! We need to patch ourselves up. Not too bad though, that was easy as shit. God damn, this game is so easy. I think I'm not even on the hardest difficulty, but now I kind of wish I was. It seems that the bosses are the only hard part of this game, which arguably is the exact same issue with Final Fantasy 1, but I guess it makes sense. In Final Fantasy 1, it was kind of the same way. The enemies weren't that hard, really, but the, the bosses are difficult. So, you know, I, I guess it makes sense. Okay, I have the tower key, so I'm assuming I have to go in that elevator. So I'm not going to, because I want to poke around and find stuff. So this is what happens when you give a completionist a game like Final Fantasy. Now we've got an easy way back. Just what we needed. Look, cubes. I could use a break. I'll say about him here in a second. It's even got Dark Souls style backtracking too. Literally, if they would have combined all the areas into one and just did a Dark Souls game, basically, with, like, Final Fantasy storyline, and, like, you know, if they would have just done everything they... If they would have done everything they did now, but just combine all the sections of the world into, like, one, like, railroaded open world, kind of like how Dark Souls games are, if they would have done that, I would have been fine. Because then at least I'd have a very interesting Souls-like... Which this game pretty much is a Souls like. Only, only due to like the bare minimums of what makes a game a Souls like. Like due to the dodge rolling. Does this game have stamina? I guess that purple bar is kind of a stamina. It's more like a uh, like a MP bar, but like 
I guess it's kind of like stamina, because like moves like that one I just used, like the spinning move and stuff, it does take that stamina to use. Like only your specials do. So like, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm using my stuff on accident. On Oxyclean. Damn, this elevator was all the way to fuck up there, huh? But yeah, I imagine at the rate this game is going, by the time I get to the end of the game, I will have maxed out everything, no weapon-wise. You think he might be the one? We need to make sure. Why not throw him at a badass monster? And it's settling quick. The hell are they talking about? I actually didn't hear what they said. What? what of those cubes. I need a break. This feels like it's gonna take me to a fight, so I'm just gonna kinda Do I get any more points? I do get point wait, do I have I been getting points for doing other stuff? Like like I mean like I don't know what I would say. Like um I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to go with. Like, for Swordsman. Okay, so I don't get any points, I guess. I guess once I get to a point, I just... if Since it doesn't level, you don't get no more points. Cool, that means you're not going to have extra points into skills that you can't use. So that's cool. It's actually really good. I like. I hate games that give you extra points and shit, and you can't use the points. There's no one here. Did Bicke lie to us? <clears throat> I'm gonna pause the game real quick. Oh wait, no, this game has has Dark Souls pausing. Never mind. So, I just realized something. I fought Garland right at the beginning. And now I'm fighting Astos. Guys, I think this is just Final Fantasy 1. Maybe it's like in an alternate dimension. Or maybe these guys actually somehow are the Warriors of Light. Because they don't seem like the Warriors of Light. You know? So, like, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm just stupid, right? Dude, honestly, Garland was worse than this, to be honest. This fight's actually easy. Oh, I'm- oh shit, my health is really low. Maybe I'll pull a Garland and make it- oh fuck, I walked right into that. I was gonna say, maybe I'll pull a garland and get right into the... In like, you know... Hold on. Oh, I died. Dude, literally, that move is too powerful, though. It just is. Mmm. I don't know why, dog. I forgot to switch out my gear. And I forgot to do that. Oh, shit, there's stuff here. Fighting the Black Knight. These, like, tutorials. Yeah, I, I don't care. Um, Like, I don't care about fighting him, whatever. You know, he's actually not that difficult. Fuck it. See, I don't like giving him the affinity stuff towards a skill he's already mastered. You know, that feels stupid.
Um. Hmm. Loyalty cape. Oh, that looks stupid. <laughs> that looks really dumb. I'll do the savage coat. At least I get weapon of er, the affinity, you know. Shadow guards. I'm gonna start investing in Ronin stuff because, like, because I do want to have my rodent or my rodent, my rodent. I want to have my Ronin skills maxed or, or get like better at it, you know. Banded hose. I don't know where I can find a bunch of banded hose. Loyalty bottoms. All right, we'll do that. Because I still want to get, like, high skills from it, you know? I'm not trying to, like, shirk my skills. I do want skills from it. I just know that I don't necessarily need, like, crazy shit, basically. Okay, now we gotta go to another person. No, I'm not changing what your affinity is. Even though you should hopefully get a new affinity at some point, because uh, you're, you're gonna run out soon. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? Mage Wisdom. Is she a mage? I don't think she is. Wait, the, that doesn't work with her outfit? That's so... No. Don't remove Jack's armor. Um, I guess we'll go with mage. What even does this benefit? Knight. Um, here, I'll go with mage for her. No. Nah, we'll go with we'll go with there. Why not? Well, what the hell? Okay, well then never mind then. Apparently, cause everything sucks and nothing works. Um, I guess it don't matter what gauntlets I give her. Same with this. I'll give her those. Shadow boots. There's really nothing I can do about that. Bronze pendant. I'll just give her the wristbands. Okay, time to do it for this guy. His job level is maxed out. Can I give them different jobs? I'm assuming I can. I don't know how, but I'm assuming I can, right? What? Why, why'd you take your shirt off, bro? Okay, I guess I'll just power level thief stuff for him. Like, I, I guess. I don't know what else to give him. I mean... Give him, like, a hive thief affinity. Uh, we'll do these just because they're higher level. Like, most of the stuff, it's like I'm doing it to them just because. Okay. Can I give you a different job? Duelist's wisdom. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do you... Can I not actually give them other jobs? That's so stupid. Okay. You, though, I haven't... I was going to say, I haven't really found stuff for him, but that is incorrect. I have been finding stuff for him. Twilight headband. Let's give him a loyalty thing. I guess we'll give him the loyalty stuff. He's literally going to be in loyalty gear. Uh, yep, loyalty boots, baby. I literally just gave him loyalty gear. It, his, car, his character model don't even show up. Alright, so I'm going to do this so it'll technically auto-save, you know. Oh. Alright. Go book the math. Using my OP spin to win move. That move is too powerful. Look at that. Look at that. We almost completely staggered him. From one use. This move is actually broken. Well, I couldn't dodge that fast enough. What 
the hell? I hit X to dodge. Dude, that is actually, like, kind of broken. That move is very OP. Oh, I fucked up. I kind of want to build, like, a pretty big, like, purple bar, you know? King of the Dark Elves? First we gotta crack it open. Start with that helmet. Okay. My health is low, but I can heal. I know, there probably is. I don't care, though. That was so easy! Literally, it's spin to win! I shit you not. Spin to win is the play. Fucking spin to win though, I swear. It's too st it's stupid overpowered. He's good. Better than good. Only Jack can fight like that. Glad to see he's back. <laughs> Took long enough. What? Oh. Hmm? Uh huh? Bravo, Jack. And a round of applause for Jed Ash. And Neon, of course. You know who we are? I'm a dark elf, you see. And we dark elves... Just tell us no about the crystals. That's all I want to know. <laughs> good, good. Those who are to forge the future mustn't be concerned with trivialities. Okay, so if this is actual Astos, Cut to the chase. then this does take place before mm. Final Fantasy 1. I'm so confused! The timeline is fucking me up! My castle is here. Make your way through this forest until you reach a tower. At its zenith, you will find the Wind Crystal. The journey will be perilous, but I suspect that doesn't come as a surprise. <laughs> Any questions? Just one. Is it true you made a deal with Chaos? No, but you will. Chaos, darkness given form, given purpose. By its hand were the crystals extinguished, and only by its hand. Oh shit, I uh, got god damn it, I hit the wrong button. Alright, I I meant to hit like touchpad deposit, but I hit options instead. Okay, well, Basically, I, we probably didn't miss much because I feel like it was towards the end of the cutscene. If not, there might be some. Can can we rewatch it? Um. So there is something I want to mention though. They must not have done a pretty good job getting rid of chaos because chaos is all the fucking like he's he's everywhere. You know, like literally chaos is in every game. Like shit, you not chaos is in every single game. Smithy. Smithy? Could I make- I could upgrade shit and I didn't know? Oh my god. That's actually stupid. I didn't know this. Also, this list of bullshit is crazy. Upgrade equipment level. Oh, where's Jax? That's for warrior. That's for warrior. That's for warrior. Um, I guess. Oh my god, I can make it like stupid leveled. Okay, we're doing that. Okay, it's a level twenty nine now. <laughs> that's, that's 
so stupid. Here now, I'm gonna go through and break all this shit down because you know we don't need this. Can I select? Ah, here we go. This is what I like to see. I want the highest versions of everything saved, you know, so they can, you know, upgrade to it. But, like, I don't care otherwise. <laughs> so, I need a... Here's a lance for me to upgrade to. Again, boo. I need that, probably. This one I can get rid of. Uh, Dismantle. Yes. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of gear. Oh, and there's even more. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Wait, why is it saying I'm wearing wristbands? That's not correct. Oh, wait, what? I, I don't know why it's saying I'm wearing two things, to be honest. Um, so. Oh my god, this is going to take a minute. Don't worry, guys. I <laughs> I gotta scroll through the endless amounts of bullshit. Oh, this is everything, though. This, this is showing all the shit. I'm gonna have fun with that, though. Actually, I'm gonna keep all the Stranger stuff, because that's just their OG gear. Maybe at one point, I might power level all that to, like, max in, or some shit, and then just, like, have them all wear it. Like, have them all wear their original gear. If it's not stupid, like, as in, like, a stupid amount of shit I need. If the, if it's not for that, then yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'll do. That's hers. That's hers. That's hers. I forgot, hers gets like a special name. Arm bandages, sailor dress, sneakers. But yeah, this is just a bit stupid with this like gear shit. At least I know I can delete unwanted gear so I don't have to scroll for like 20 minutes for shit that I don't want. So I am fine with that actually. You know, Cause that, that's very useful. I just don't like having a lot of gear in video games. I like having the best of whatever I found so far and then getting rid of the rest. Whether it be for monetary gain, like in the game, or just in general. I just don't like carrying a lot of stuff. Especially in games like Fallout and shit where, you know, then it actually matters because it's like carry weight. These games, it doesn't matter. I just, you know, don't want to carry it around. I think all this might be new shit, so I'm going to save all of it for now. Uh, dismantle. Yep. Cool. That breaks down a lot of stuff. Uh, this needs to go. So all the, all the original outfits are here as well. Okay, and then I've broke down all this crap. Um... Anima shards, 5 out of 30. 5 out of 30. Oh, I guess I can only bring it up to level 34. Alright, I'm fine with that, I guess. Um, I can bring you up to 34 as well. Might as well. I, I, like, I don't see why not. Like, until I find better stuff, I mean, I, I really don't see why not. Um, upgrade special effect for this one. Strength. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, well, I can't even do that. can't do that either. Okay. okay. I'm like checking all my shit now. Well, 
Well, this I'm about to scrap because I'm about to swap over to the the, the fucking axe here in a second. Okay, cool. So there's that. Didn't know that was a thing till now. So that's cool. That's really cool. Now we're going to job points. Okay, and then total points needed too. Let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on probably Lancer and Marauder. I feel like Marauder is the axe one. So probably Lancer and Marauder is what I'm going to go with. I'm, well, I'm still keep the Swordsman as my main skill, mainly because the spin to win move is too fucking powerful for its own good. It, it just is. You can't argue with that. It just is too damn powerful. So I am going to equip that. I forgot their outfits changed based on what they're wearing, which I think is kind of stupid, but it's fine. Whatever. Uh, broadsword. Okay. So, apparently, now, I should be able to give them alternate jobs. So, she's not maxed yet, so I'm not worried. He, I will switch to the thief, which I have a 102 bonus for, so he's probably going to skyrocket through that. Like, I'm not even joking. He's actually probably going to go crazy through that shit pugilist you're not even close so yeah uh, job trees which one would be easier to go through hold on i'm gonna see what my percentages are real quick i should have checked that while i was in here okay so right now i have the highest towards spear and stuff so i'll do that then i'll start focusing on ronin uh, and then I will go to, you know, whatever next. Okay, so that seems fair, right? A main mission. Desperate struggle. So that's where I have to go. Oh, that's completed. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. Start the mission? Yeah, sure, why not? Actually, you know what? Before I start leveling Jed, I'm going to real quickly swap my party to have Ash instead. Because I, A, I haven't used him in a while. And B, because, you know, I, I kind of want to get everybody's first skill maxed out before I start worrying about all their secondaries. Like, that seems fair, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to swap uh, Jed for Ash once I, once I land here. <laughs> Chaos exists. I knew it. I told you. You're really excited about that home. Huh? Was that the whole cutscene? It was like three seconds long. <laughs> the hell was the point in that? Wow, that really was the whole cutscene. Wow, what a dumbass cutscene. I've been here before too. So you know where to go? <sighs> Not really. It's just a vague sense. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I'm gonna swap Jed for edit party. I'm gonna swap Jed for Ash. So I can get these two leveled to their max. I'll swap her to her secondary. When he gets to his maximum, I will swap him back for Jed. And then, well, when she gets to max, I'll probably swap Jed. So it'll be Jed and, uh, Jed and Ash again. Then when Jed's maxed, I'll swap Neon, get her second skill. Whenever Jed's finished, I'll swap Ash. Yeah, so I I've got a method. It'll, it'll work. I just haven't seen him in a while, so I kind of want to, like, hang out. I don't know why I did that, but... Did I break the neck of a worm? What the hell was that? What did I just do? A win is a win. 
Here, let me use my broken move. It really is just that broken. Oh, I was gonna pull a God of War swip to my other weapon, swip to my spear and just fucking throw it at her. What's that shining over? That's a good question, Ash. I don't know. We're about to find out, though. Whoa, that thing changes the weather. Yeah, the forest is different. Huh. I never knew plants could grow so fast. Hmm. What? What's in there? Ooh, a weapon that's worse than what I have. Which I guess is kind of due to my fault spending all those points power leveling. Watch out. Sometimes nature gets warped, corrupted, and turns into this. Is it? When unnatural power is used with the natural power. the source of darkness. You're full of surprises. I crushed her with her own ball, dude. I crushed her with her own exercise ball. That looks so goofy, though. We win. Learned a couple things from that one. I feel like I'm blasting through all these missions, but maybe that's just because this version of Final Fantasy 1 is, like, actually just easier. Because there's, n like, there's no, like, walking big distances and getting into dumb fights. It's just, you know, mission to mission. Like Devil May Cry. Wow, I wonder, I wonder where that idea came from. It couldn't have been from the team that made Devil May Cry. Gets, like the grunt becomes harder every time he does it. It's like it's like screaming. Battle settings. I might as well swap weapons. My mission level is 26. Am I not a high enough level for this? It I it arguably could be because of this, you know. It arguably could be because just my my shit is low, like. Like, all the gear I have that benefits me for these trying times. I don't have a single thing that, like, benefits this specific skill that's, like, high level. Everything sucks. <clears throat> I can... Part of a chip at my throat, man. Trash. Trash. Might as well be, though. Okay, I wanted to see if the Fire Woman would have a different animation. That's kind of the only reason I did that. Oh, cool. My, my DualShock 4 battery level is low. That's hype. Don't you guys think that's hype when your DualShock 4 battery level gets low? And then it, like, disconnects and you have to charge the battery. That's my favorite. I'm heading the wrong way. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it, but like, okay, I was. There's a chest up here. That guarantees that I'm heading the wrong way. Oh, ah, oh, damn it! I forgot to kick that chain down. Hold on. Now I gotta circle all the way back around to kick down that chain, so I can God of War my way back up if I need to. And then, uh, once I do that, I'm trying to think of what I got to do after that. Once I do that, I figure what direction was the correct way. I just chose to go wrong. Which is this way. I figured this way is probably correct, like through the waterfall. I just don't want to do that yet. Same with that little ball. I I, I want to touch it because I know it's going to do something. 
but I don't know what it's going to do, or if that's going to affect me negatively. I imagine probably not, so... Um, okay. Wow! I didn't think we'd get through this way. Remember this, we like Yep, so now we're just that much closer to getting out of here, I guess, because there's already our backtrack made. Okay, so what do you plan to do? Looks like we can pass through now. Oh. Huh. huh. That's not what I thought it was going to do, but all right, that makes sense, I guess. I do like this element, too, of, like, the back and forth thing, with having to, like, change elements and shit. Finally, a challenge. This ain't a challenge, Jack. You already know. I need to move. I need to move. Ooh. It is happening, dog. I am dead. I have perished. <laughs> I've been separated from this mortal coil. God damn it. Yeah, at least this is made. No wonder they fucking gave you this rope right here. Literally is just that much easier to do this. I was about to hit that button. I would go. No, I'm gonna go ahead and kill stuff because I want to try to max out my affinities. Damn it! I keep like using this on accident. So there is a spinning move, but you have to like hold left or right on the stick before you can do it. Because it's not necessarily like a normal attack, so it's kind of wonky. Okay, now back to here where I can fight the Griffin. Where I can fight Meg Griffin. I'm keeping my butthole cool by sitting on the air conditioner, <laughs> keeping my rectum nice and chilly for when for summer days. Damn it. I was trying to heal, but like, I forgot you can't heal while you're attacking, and like, even after so, like, you have to stop whatever you're doing for a whole second or two before it'll let you do something else. So if like, I'm attacking right now, I hit down on the d-pad. Hey, you, you can see when I hit down on the d-pad, I'm pretty sure. Did you see how many times I spammed the button? for the health item like while I was uh while I was doing that yeah quite a bit because uh it is you know stupid to say the least that uh bruh. but it is it is stupid to say the least when it comes to that because you know I have to do like that entire bullshit of like I have to wait for my combos to stop, and then wait, like, a good second or two before it'll let me heal. Which is so dumb. So dumb. What even time is it? Alright, it's still a bit of time. See, normally I don't care. 
how long the episodes run for, but I gotta work today, so like, I was making sure that I had enough time, because here's the thing, this video, I might upload the raw file, because I didn't end up doing my little, like, count-in for this episode, I just decided not to, so I may have to just, like, so I may not have to do really much of anything, in the sense of I probably won't have to, you know, render the video, I might be able to upload it raw, which is probably going to be a bigger file, but, like, um, but, basically, like, I, so, so due to that, though, it can save me time, because then I don't have to do anything, like, special, I can just kind of, like, you, you know, Oh yeah, I forgot. Shit just dies when you kill those. I was sitting here trying to manually kill that stuff. Arguably, you could manually kill those and just save just as much and, and at least, like, you know, grind weapon skills. So, I mean, there's still, still a good thing to do there. See, look at this! They show you this fucking open world that you don't get to go and look through! Like... You've seen what's in the shadows. That's so dumb. Like, I hate that. Like, they tease this world you'll never get to see. Like, that irks me, man. That pisses me off so much. Dude, that spear throw is actually kind of OP. You know? It's OP to some extent. Like, it takes a minute to charge up. But for most enemies, they slowly walk towards you, so you don't actually have to struggle that hard to throw it. Or to, like, make sure you're hitting it. Where the hell am I going? Oh, was there a little thing I was supposed to... Yeah. Yeah, indeed there was. Yeah. Yeah, indeed there was. You know, I want to see something real quick. This is going to make it piss and rain. I just want to... I mean, there's no point to this, but I just want to. Okay, I was just checking to see if, like, it was, like, an Easter egg. Like, something would show up. Like, some kind of creature would show up whenever you made it rain. There was no point in it. I just kind of wanted to see if, like, if something would, would happen. Something different. Like, it's so unnecessary for anything to have had happened. But, like, I just wanted to, I just wanted to know. Kill it. They're not that scared to come out. I mean, they're literally right here. Oh shit, did I hit this guy too? Oh, I just realized. The water elementals, I think they turn into the fire element. Bruh. Anyway. So, something I've noticed is I think the fire elementals turn into water elementals. When you change the weather. Which is kind of interesting. I mean, I have no claim. I have nothing to back up this claim. Because I actually am not sure. Because I don't think I've been to the same area on both occasions to prove if my if what I say is true. But it might be. And if it is, then that, that's very interesting. I mean, they pretty much have like a similar move set. It's just... Should have used the harpy on that to be honest, but I have no clue what the hell happened there to be honest. There was a lot of stuff going on and I and I don't think I could see what any of it was. Also, is it just me, or do the weapon skills actually level up crazy quickly in this? Because like 
Because I've went up like three weapon levels for this weapon so far, and I've barely used it. Gotta love shortcuts. We'll use this to get back. At least this one's a hell of a lot closer than the last one was. I just hope I don't okay. die. That's one way to do it. Um, that could have been a way bigger fall. Pin him to the wall. God damn it. Why does that first, like, spear, like, hit take so long? Because I'm not even, like, doing anything crazy. It just takes a while for, like, no reason. Okay. Damn. I guess when they get pinned to a wall, they just die instantly. I mean, that's kind of hype, but all right. Arguably, with the skills being the way they are, I probably don't even have to, like, put on different clothes in this game. I could probably just have them all wear their normal outfits and still be doing fine. I think what any bonuses they have are from, uh, aren't from clothes. I think they're from the actual, like, weapon level. Maybe I was alone. Maybe not. It's all the same now. Uh oh, I think I just killed myself. Nope, but I might as well have. That was. Shit, that killed me probably. Please don't. Damn it, I tried to roll away from it and I got caught in it both times. Itachi. In a wizard's coat. <laughs> I need a save point with the health I have currently, because save some of that for later. Okay. No room for mistakes. <sighs> me, me playing this is a mistake because I suck at video games. More of those cubes. Oh, Let's thankfully, <laughs> good a save point. So me being trash isn't my fault. What's our average equipment level? Oh, nah. <laughs> Whoops. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Um, that is not good. That is very not good. I mean, fucking whoops. Like, I, I don't think there's much I could do about that. Oh, there is some stuff. Okay, hold on. There is some stuff. Give me one second. There, there is stuff I can do. I think some of it is just due to like like some of it is just random shit. You know, it's like there's there's not really much I can do, I guess. Um, swordsman. Great sword. A level 1 of 7. That's cool. That looks cool. That looks real cool. And of course, it applies for a thing that I don't have to worry about. Um... Wait, shit, no, I want the wizard's coat. Because I don't need none of these affinities. At least not yet. I don't need them yet. I'm trying to, like, give him leveled gear while still having him look cool. Like, that's basically what I'm going for. 
Dude, my affinity for all my stats is trash. I'll do that. Um, and then let's go to Neon. Actually, she's not even in the party. We'll do these two then. I don't have any new weapons for you. I don't have anything good for you. I guess I could do that. Even though that's not the best for you. Um, I could do that. I don't really have anything that benefits him. I have a bunch of shit for wizard stuff, but I don't really have... Here we go. Wizard shoes, because apparently wizard shoes benefit punching shit. And then you. Do I have anything for you? These are still better. They're still just so much better. Okay, I don't have anything for you. I'm gonna keep that because that benefits your skills. I'll do that and then pendant. We'll do the ring. Oh my god. Okay, see, that's not so bad. Average equipment level 25. This is the one. See, that's not terrible. I don't like this outfit at all. I want to take off the masks. I'm going to remove their masks for all of them. Unless they provide too low of a, of a fucking... Vonage-like coverage station, you know? I just want to, like... Wizard mask, can I remove... I can't remove. Oh wait, yeah I can. I'm so stupid. <laughs> wait. That's the Final Fantasy third. That's Lightning's theme. That that was that was literally Lightning's theme. What the fuck? That, that's cool. Like, it's very interesting. Uh, what's our gear at now? Eh, it's not terrible. I just want their faces to be showing, and the only reason being is just because it makes it, you know, during cutscenes, you know, I like looking at the character's face. It's just. Still scared of lightning, I bet. I have a perfectly healthy fear. You go out there, Ash. Then tell me those bolts aren't the hazard. Still have a fear of lightning. I mean, if it's lightning is in the character, I would have a fucking fear. She was scary. She was cool, but she was scary, man. She killed God. Like, that's fucking scary as shit. Should be fine here. I could keep going. There you go. Now then. Let's get Lore. I don't want to read it, to be honest. I only read that one because I thought it was going to tell me something. Because I didn't actually understand that it was just a lore tidbit. Bruh. Fuck you, dude. Oh, shit. Smack the bike. I do love that bit, though, of just pinning them to the wall. Okay, that's cool, too. I guess if their health is low enough, whenever you go to um, throw the spear at them, it'll... If their health is low enough, the spear will just instant, like, kill them where they stand. That's kind of interesting. Hachi, let's go. I actually don't know where I go. Oh, okay, I see. Water level's lowered. Any on. 
this part. Remember you said if we met Chaos, we'd start respecting you. Did I? Yep. Alright, he's right. Does Jack come to me? Like that part in the song. It, it's literally Lightning's theme. Uh, any chance you could forget that? Which I, I think that's so interesting, though. That there's casually just Lightning's theme being played. Fuck them up, dude. Fuck them right in their mouth, Jack. My health is not high enough for this. I do think it's great, though, that even if I don't use the spear, I can still level the spear up just slower. Just due to, like, my gear set. Actually, like, now I'm thinking about it. I want to see something real quick. Like, not items. I just thought of something. I think I might have my gear backwards. No, okay, never mind. I, I still have a pretty good affinity. Like, either way. Okay, because I, I, I was... I was figuring that I would have less affinity during my actual... Like, like on the actual Lancer build. I do not. Mm. Um, I don't want to hit that just yet. I want to poke around real quick. I just want to see if there's anything, you know. That's crazy, though, that that song's in here. It's so weird that it's in here. I need a break. That's already lowered, so I don't gotta worry about that. That isn't though, so I gotta do. So here's what Watch I gotta do. Jack. I wanted to kind of hit it in the face. <laughs> Do I have lightning resistance? Why the hell is it saying resist? Damn it, I was hoping I could get the, the coerol or whatever it's called. I was hoping I could get it struck by lightning. Okay, given the fact that this is like clearly leading me up here. While it's all... Oh wait, never mind, I can't change it. Not until I get up there. I was like, cause, uh, I figured it was going to be an extra area, but no, the way this is going. That is so interesting. Though. My question is, is I don't ever remember that song being any other game besides the 13s, because it was Lightning's theme. So, why is it here? Let's head back. Like, I'm not trying to, like, game theory my way into a, a result you know i just kind of want to know why this song like i don't know it feels like that's such a standout track seeing as how i recognized it and i don't even remember music from games that much Unless it's like something like the God of War theme where it's actively impossible to like not remember. So it's like. Like, I. What? Alright, God of War. Fucking pulling bullshit moves that you can't avoid. But. So, like. But yeah, it's just weird. Like. I know this is like Final Fantasy and, and not like any other game, so it's not like they're trying to hide a bunch of lore or any shit like that. But it, I don't know, it just seems weird for them to add the song with like no prior context. 
Because at this point, lightning wouldn't even have existed. That's that's if that's if these worlds take place all in the same, you know. Then at this point, lightning wouldn't have even been made. So like, it's strange that they add that song, unless lightning's theme hints on original Final Fantasy music or some shit. If that's the case. Then why is it called Lightning's theme if it's like just an original Final Fantasy song, like just a normal ass song? Like I don't know. Like I, I'm going so in depth with this for no reason, but I just don't understand why this song is here. Like I don't, I don't get it. Why is it here? It bothers me so much, but it bothers me in like an inquisitive way, where it's like I actually just don't get why it's here. Like, I don't see. Like, I, I don't understand. It's strange. I just don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm just giving myself some higher level shit. Why not? I wish I could change this outfit because the wizard's coat looks goofy. I guess I could do that. Um... Play more level 27. Finally, all right. I'm going to change this one. Okay, that is the highest level, so I can't do anything about that. I do have some stuff, however, that I can level up with. Banded gauntlets. I'm trying to give him as much of a bonus towards the spear as possible as much of a bonus All right. oh forgot to actually like forgot to swap out everybody else's stuff might as well while I'm over here okay her thing is still level 30 so that's not going nowhere her second skill set is a mage so I feel like I should you know start dumping points into that so okay if i change her skill is it the same as like okay no I, I was changing to see if um I, I know i was changing to see if like uh if it would be like like how Jax is where you or what, how jack is where you have to like change to a completely different set of gear depending on what how, what you were picking that's what I thought it was, so that, that that's why I was, I was just checking that out there. Um, I actually had no clue. Um, and then wristbands, I'll bring that up there. Okay. Pugilist. You, I haven't found any weapons for you anywhere, which is actually crazy, but like, I haven't found shit. I guess the wizard's coat. Wizard's gloves. Might as well give you wizard garb. Like, I feel like there's really nothing I can give you that's going to benefit you besides, like, stuff you already have equipped. I don't know why your skill set's so fucking whack, but it just is. There we go. Level 39. A 13. It's a little bit lower level, but it does give him a more of an affinity towards his skill, which I think is more important. Okay, our average equipment level still is kind of shit, but it's not terrible. It could be very bad. Like, it could be worse, you know? Here, I'll just pull a jack. Chaos. Oh, it's one of these. At least my weapons don't seem to really be element based. What are you? Answer me. All right, GG's, I guess. I feel like he's gonna be the harder one, so I feel like I should focus on him. But he might also have like the higher health. Oh, it's it's just making me fight him one at a time. Oh, it's just. Hold on. Okay. 
Wait, did, is he use? Did that take damage from him? What the fuck even happened? Man, wacky shit. Oh, I totally forgot about the L2 circle bit. I'm not even gonna lie. I actually forgot about that whole spiel. Sorry, I had to like close Snapchat it. I forgot it was still open. Uh, it was L2 circle. What the fuck? Okay. Okay, explain how I was supposed to avoid that. I'm like, just kind of... <laughs> Try to run across the entire battlefield to kill hit it. Let's go. Easy fight. You got member girl. After we kill shit, we literally just bail. <laughs> we leave no time to do anything else. We 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 gone. We out there. We really be out there. Damn. Also, I hadn't done any of the side missions outside of um outside of that video, just so you know. You probably figured that, but I just forgot to mention. So, like, which I probably should, seeing as how this next one is, like, level 33 is, like, a mission level, like, minimum. So, I'm definitely probably going to have to do them. Some of them only have one, which ain't too terrible. So, you know, it's the worst. This one is the only one that's kind of bad because it has nine, and they're all related to tutorials. So, you know, it's just getting them out of the way. Same with the battle sim. Um... But yeah, I guess with that, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.